Hi guys, my name is Stavros. I'm the author of the Toma 6, book one of The Fateful Force, and I'm also a war bow archer. Today, we're just going to be doing some more practice on our H1 heavy draw. This bow draws between 100 and 103 pounds at 28 inches. I've got this kind of side profile view here so we can see the draw and then getting that really nice release, clean release, and making sure the arrow comes off at the exact that 28 inch mark uh, consistently. Uh, so we can you know, get more consistent draws with the bow so that when we do do our armor tests, that you know, from arrow to arrow, we know that we are getting quite consistent data. Now, bear in mind, of course, that you know, some arrow slippage is you know part of the process of doing you know war bow archery. Um, it does happen, but uh, if we can eliminate as much of it as possible, particularly as we fatigue, then we can become you know better archers as well. So, with that said, let's just uh, do some arrows and see how we go. Uh, this M2 is a 32 inch arrow, so obviously it's not going to go to the shoulder, uh, but I have a mark for where it is at 28 inches. So not all these arrows are exactly 28 inches to the shoulder. Um, there's some of them about 28 and a quarter, 28 and a half. I will try to get them to the shoulder if I can. Uh, but this one I can sometimes, you know, if I'm strong, get the 103 pound bow to the 29 inch mark. And it's about 107, 108 pounds at that, at that, um, at that draw. So um, we'll see how we go anyway. Okay, that was eight arrows. I'm gonna repeat that process one more time and then I'll go back to the footage and review it, see how my releases are. So, uh, but again, this is just for practice and it's not just the full draw length, it's also the release of the full draw length that needs to be clean. Okay, so second lot of eight arrows. starting to fatigue actually that's the 14th arrow um, and I did do warm up on my 90 pound bow before this I always warm up with a lighter bow before I move to this it's not smart to start at a 100 pound bow um, you know especially for me where my maximum is 113 that's what I'm able to draw I start with a, uh, a 55 pound bow then I move to my 90 pound bow and then I uh, you know move to the 103 pound bow and I'm starting to fatigue, uh, and I'm starting to fatigue now. That's 14 arrows, I think, so far, um, and I, I can definitely feel it. Um, um, yeah, so let's just keep going. Let's get those full 16 arrows in. Then I'm going to go back to my 90-pound bow as well. Actually, I'm going to put just some final arrows in on that as well, just so you can see, you know, what I do in order to kind of practice that full draw and clean release. Um, you know, put some repetitions in, and it's important to film yourself from this kind of angle because then you can get a, a good. Uh, view of you know how you are releasing uh, the arrows off the bow as well so it's a really good uh, little training tip that's better okay last arrow on the 103 pound bow uh, this one's a 32 inch arrow so it's a little bit it's obviously much longer I won't be able to get it to the shoulder nice okay let's hit up the 90 pound bow and see how we go with that one so just another six arrows 87 to 90 pounds, probably because it's a little bit warm today. It's probably drawing, this one's probably drawing a little bit closer to 87 pounds uh, than the 90 pounds. Uh, but I'll try and draw it a little bit over the 28 just to get it to the 90 uh, pounds uh, for today's uh, purposes. And last arrow. And 
that's it. So 16 arrows at 100, 100 to 103 pounds for the H1 heavy draw. Uh, six arrows to finish it off with the we'll call it 87 to 90 pound bow. I was trying to draw a little bit over the 28 inch. Um, but before I did that, I also did about you know 12, 15 arrows on this as well as part of the warm up. So you know all together, you know, it's 30, 40 arrows. These aren't super long sessions. They're not short sessions either. Um, you know when you're putting you know 40 arrows out in a session, that's a, that's a nice session uh, for war bow training. Um, of course, if you want to do you know some target shooting with a lighter bow, you know I regularly do you know 150 even 200 arrows in a session, especially if I'm um, doing a competition with my 55 pound bow. But um, yeah, that's how I train on my war bows. Uh, that's a bit of a tip for you. Um, you know you want to aim for that 15 to 20 arrows on your you know we'll say your on your heavy bows. Um, and then, you know, obviously if you can go heavier than that, like I can with my 113 pound bow, if I am going to do a lot of arrows on my 113 pound bow, I am really slowing it down. Uh, because after one or two draws, I can't draw the bow again immediately after that. Whereas with the, uh, 100 pound to 103 pound bow, I can get five to six draws in a minute before I get cooked. So it just, again, it depends on the weight of the bow, what you're trying to achieve. For me, I just want to maintain my strength. Um, it's summer here in Australia. I am going to be going away on holidays. I will take the uh, 90 pound bow with me just to keep active, um, you know, uh, to draw it, um, you know, even if I'm not losing arrows, just to keep that kind of exercise uh, happening uh, because you do tend to lose a bit of strength. It's, you know, people probably experience this as well if they take an extended uh, period away from the gym. When they go back to the gym, they can't quite lift the same weights that they did, uh, you know, before they went away. Uh, so that's, again, that's what I like to do. Uh, put a bit of volume into your training condense it not super short you're not speed firing but you want to put you know a bit of uh, fatigue into yourself and then uh, drop down bow again so after you build up to that kind of heavy bow that you like to work on drop back down to a, a lighter bow but still a war bow um, and treat it like a drop set um, at the gym so hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for our next one